so this is going to be a bit of a different video uh, i know i haven't uh, put anything up in a while now guys i've been super busy but uh, i have been doing some little side projects for myself i have like three videos actually made that i've got to do voiceovers for and get up here but uh just in the meantime here we go i'm i've put together a little diorama of what i've got going on everything you see on the screen right now other than the minis has been made by me um, all the little bits and pieces I've made mostly uh, what I've been concentrating on was uh, a dwarven or just a general mindset something modular that we could use that we could play um, so I uh, I put it together I like to uh, make my own resin pieces so what I do is I actually model my four by fours or my two by two um, uh, tile sets I make a, a one version of everything from scratch keeping in mind that I'm going to be pouring it in silicone and then I make the molds and I pour the resin myself and then I end up having to uh, you know piss and moan a little bit and probably put off and procrastinate about the painting but eventually I get the sets painted and then they go away in my drawer until we need them um, I like to do a lot of scatter terrain for my sets as well um, as you can see here, I've got a bit of a mixture. I do have some cavern walls that I've made. Um, that's a whole set I put off to the side. Um, I made the minecart myself. Uh, here's a little walkthrough quick, just a nice little view, taking a look at all the different little pieces I've put together. I like to have, uh, like I said, modular. It needs to be able to be modular so you can use it for anything you want. Uh, build your own little uh, scenario. Uh, BBEG fight um, could be a uh, puzzle set set up it doesn't really matter but um, as we're looking around here you can see I've got some crystalline uh, scattered terrain that I've put together some mushrooms for the underdark um, I'm really into the underdark so I've got quite a bit of cavern set put together um, and yeah I'm, I'm hoping that you guys like this I know it's not the same normal crafting video type thing but uh, I thought I'd do a little showcase and show you guys uh, kind of what I've been up to and what I'm capable of. Uh, maybe one day I'll put together some videos on how I actually make my tile sets, including the silicone pour and then the resin pours and, and the paint jobs afterwards and what, what goes through my mind in the process of actually making the sets in general. Like I said, you gotta keep in mind that you're gonna pour it in silicone so you don't want anything that can get up underneath so that when you go to pull your actual mold out or, your, or you release it, you tear the actual silicone mold apart. But um, yeah, I hope you guys think this is cool. This is just uh, part of one of my sets. I do have a castle kind of like underground dungeon set that I've got put together, it's pretty simple. Um, and what we'll do here is I'll go through, here's the end piece that I've made, obviously with a little bit of tracks and wood and. Here's a straight piece that I put together. A little bit of ballast is what they call the clear rock in between, just to keep everything from settling. I know the 90 degree is a little bit ridiculous, but it works for my set. We got a four x four crossing, of course. And that's really all you needed. And then throw together some scatter terrain, you know, using bits and pieces from my original uh, mindset that I made. And I just peel it apart after I'm done making the mold and use those same pieces to make uh, the scatter terrain in the end. Um, I think it's super important that you have scatter terrain that kind of matches your sets and um, I think it looks really cool man and it brings a, a real a, a real in-depth realism to uh, your situation and this is my mine card so I think it's my uh, uh, best piece it's a three-piece mold the wheels are done one side and the other and then the top piece is uh, a separate mold all on its own I carved all the wood myself put in the rivets now sometimes the molds obviously you can see don't come out completely perfect I still think it looks cool and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'm going to be putting up some stuff real soon. So uh, thanks for watching, hit and like, subscribe, um, take a look at what I got coming up. Thanks guys.